Barack Obama has arrived in South Korea on Wednesday night. Greeted at the airport by South Korean Foreign Minister Yu Ming-hwan and the U.S. Ambassador to Seoul, Kathleen Stephens. This is Obama's first trip to the country, and he is scheduled to meet with South Korean President Lee Myung back in Seoul on Thursday. Obama will end his Asian tour there after previously visiting Japan, Singapore and China. The DPRK's disputed nuclear program will be a key point of discussion. The two sides are also expected to negotiate a free trade agreement. James Kim has more. South Korean Foreign Minister Yu Myung-hwan says Obama's visit will be an opportunity to show his country and the United States are closely cooperating on the DPRK nuclear issue. I think both presidents share similar opinions on the DPRK nuclear issue. During their talks, Obama and South Korean President Lee Myung-bak are also expected to discuss a free trade agreement which neither side has ratified. However, little progress is expected to be made, especially during the current global economic downturn. There have been many protests in South Korea against the free trade agreement. Many farmers say the treaty threatens their livelihood. On the other hand, it's hard for the U.S. to make any concessions. And we have to also keep in mind that the American economy is just possibly beginning to bounce back, if at all. Uh, so it's not in the best of circumstances in terms of American economy. And therefore, I don't think President Obama is in a position to be concessionary. South Korea will be the final destination of Obama's four-nation Asian trip, which began on November the 12th. James Kim, CCTV. South Korean demonstrators staged rallies to protest against the war in Afghanistan on Tuesday. The anti-war protesters gathered outside the U.S. Embassy due to anger over government plans to redeploy its troops in Afghanistan. South Korea announced its troop dispatch plan late last month. Local media reports that the government is considering increasing the number to 130 and plans to send about 300 troops by early next year. As a key U.S. ally, South Korea dispatched troops to Iraq from 2003 to 2008. You're watching the news on CCTV International. Coming up. Harsh criticism has lobbed Israel's way over a new plan to build 900 homes in a Jewish neighborhood claimed by Palestinians. And security intensifies throughout Afghanistan's capital, Kabul, ahead of Thursday's presidential inauguration ceremony.